I hope everyone's day is going well. Everyone's having a good Thursday. It's almost Friday. One more day, then it's the weekend. So, like I said, I didn't know if the video was going to be for today or tomorrow, so it's for today, obviously. So, we won't see you tomorrow. That's okay. Because our fajitas are lasting us really well, but we're also going to make ourselves a nice summer salad. I'll leave whatever the vegetables are available around the year. Cucumber, tomato, onion salad. It is very simple, <laughs> thankfully. It's going to cut the ends off. Our cucumbers. Slice them. I'm just gonna chunk them as big move the tomatoes off as you want. So nice and crisp. All right. Then when you get them to kind of the desired size. Or your salad you're thinking whatever is kind of a reasonable bite size so you could go just in the halves like that or you could do that if you want them a little smaller it is up to you or you could vary your size also a fun thing to do have some bigger pieces have some smaller pieces it all works All right, so I'm going to cut up the other one. I'll cut back when we do the next veggie. All right, next up is our tomatoes. I know I'm missing my expert tomato cutter. Right now, she's in the middle of some other stuff, and that's cool. This is not a dish she much cares for. She's not huge on tomatoes or cucumbers, so the only thing she would like would be the onions. But if you are like me and you like all three, this is a great recipe. So similar to tomatoes, we're just kind of cutting them into the size chunks we want. You know. Get them all in there. And obviously all of our veggies have been washed. Some of the little insides out so it doesn't oversog. It's okay to have a little bit because, yeah, just a little bit of moisture, but not a lot to this one. And I have seen these salads made with heavier moisture items, but we're just going to be adding some olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, and just a little bit of spice, like a few spices um, to it. But I know I've seen people do Italian dressing with it instead. So with that one, you'd want to scoop out more of your tomatoes because you tend to douse a bit more on there. It's a little heavier on that. All right, so check back with the final vegetable in a second. All right, now we are on to our onion. Gonna chop that. Oh, but how's everybody doing? Everybody enjoying the start of summer in their areas? It is warm down here, but it's it's warmer today. But yesterday, I couldn't believe how cool it was, considering it's practically the middle of June. It was crazy, crazy. Hope everybody's finding ways to be out and active, whatever they're doing. Going on walks in your neighborhood. If you've got a pool or a friend with a pool who's comfortable with you coming over. That's good. 
there's hiking trails, parks are kind of reopening. That's good. Everything's all chopped up. You know, straggly pieces of the onion like root. So, yeah, that's good. Alrighty. Got all our nice onion pieces all chopped up, ready to be put in the bowl. Alright. Let me grab the other stuff we're doing once. Alright, so you can see everything's in there. It's all looking really good. Stir up all our veggies so when we start pouring in the other stuff, I think that little lost off to be stirred again. But still, see how pretty, nice and colorful, all those good veggies. This is a great side to anything or good if you're just not in the mood to eat much, you know, something heavy for lunch. This is very filling. So yeah, so we can have it as sides with dinner, you can have it as kind of a lighter meal replacement if you're not super hungry. I've always enjoyed it. Alright, so we're going to be adding two tablespoons of olive oil. We're running low on olive oil, going to need to replace that in this week's grocery run. We're doing three tablespoons of, you can do either white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Apple cider is what I have. I do not have any white wine. So apple cider is what we are doing. If I could get that to, it's good. It's all good. All right, then we're gonna do a tablespoon of oregano. and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And then do just a little bit of salt. About an eighth of a teaspoon, so about a quarter do that. And then we just throw the coating on everything. You want to make sure it all gets there nice and evenly. And it is ready to serve, although it's good. I recommend leaving it in your fridge. Put it in, I'm gonna cover it in Tupperware, put it in the fridge, and leaving it for at least about at least 30 minutes, if not a whole hour. And this will stay good two or three days. So this is obviously gonna be a lot of what we're eating for the next few days. Um, just because the vegetables are technically still okay, but they get that kind of mush texture. So the only way to really I do them is if I just pulverized them through the food processor <laughs> and added them to something. It's not a bad thing to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put this in Tupperware and cover it and leave it in the fridge for uh, about an hour and then we'll enjoy it. All right. Bon appetit. Have a great day. See you this weekend.